All right. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, perfect. All right, so um, if you recall, we had these um, different activities that we were looking at uh, and uh, trying to give those a grade uh, as the first, the first thing. So the first activity, um, and you need to give it a grade on a scale of uh, 0 to 10. And 10 is, uh, let's just, um, I would love to do it right away. I have no problem doing it. And zero is, I, I, I want to do it, but it's completely impossible. There's no way I can do it. So the first one would be um, reading educational books for two hours. I've had another, that's a bad question for now. I just studied for 14 days straight, so it's like the two. Yeah, that's fine. Um, and then playing guitar for six hours straight. Five. Yeah. And going out for a beer after school for three hours. Four. Yeah. And going to the gym for one hour. Mm, no, not really. Not really great now. Three. Three? Mm. And then cooking for 45 minutes. Mm, ten. That's not a it's not a problem anymore. Those daily activities they're they're not so much not so much of a pain anymore. No. Okay, that's good. Well it's it looks it looks like based on these numbers, it looks like you've improved based on your uh, ability your activity level. Yeah. So that's good. Okay, and then we have the, the top three symptoms uh, the last week, and the, the, the first one, the, the worst one. Uh, eye pain. Eye pain. Yes, and number two. Mm, that's either, either temple pain or back of the head pain. Those, those, those two doesn't matter in which order. Okay, I'll put temple pain as number two and back of the head. Pain. All right. And also, um, maybe this is maybe this is normal, but the behind the eye pain, it's it's a bit more diffuse than than just when I mean when it kicks in that when it's really bad, I can feel it in my eyes hundred percent. But other when it's when it's not so bad, it's. I would almost touch top of my head to to reach for it, but mm -hmm. it's not as it's not. It doesn't seem to be as close for, uh, no. or as when I touch my eyes. But you probably know that that it's it's hard to locate the pain sometimes. Absolutely, absolutely, and it can easily go around and like move in waves. So that's uh, yeah, that's that's normal. Okay, so um, the next is the different pains, and this is also from uh, the, the last uh, week or so, maybe the last four, four days of the last week. Um, and the first one, and also this is from zero to 10, and zero, of course, is I have not had that symptom at all. Um, and 10 is, uh, it's unbearable, and I'll do anything to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm losing you a little bit. Yeah. I'm just. I'm just, I'm just losing losing the connection a little bit. Really? Can you hear me now? Mm, so so so. Okay. Shall we wait just uh, half a minute? Oh, it's working fine now. Just okay. if you can continue. Okay. Okay. So the next, um, the next is pain in, uh, yeah. So the first one of these is uh, pain in the back of the head, on a scale of zero to ten. Give me a second. Mm -hmm. Four. Yeah. And then pain behind the ear. Mm, one. Yeah. And pain in the timbles. Mm, 
drive. Mm -hmm. And pain in the front head or the forehead? Mm. Zero. Yeah. It's always when I try to locate it in my forehead, it's not there. Mm -hmm. I would. That's the. That's probably the first place I would reach for, for the eye pain, but yeah. it's really yeah. not there. No, it's because you know you cannot reach behind your eyes. So probably that's why you're going for your forehead. Okay, and then uh, pain on the top of the head. Can can you see me? Well, I can see you. A yeah, okay. Bit, yeah. Okay. Pain on the top of the head. Uh. Two. Mm -hmm. And then pain in the back of the teeth. Zero. Yes. And then pain in the jaw. Um, does that count as a as a cheek pain as well? Mm. No. Is it more? Is it is your pain more here? Mm, it seems to be or right here? under my eyes. In here? Okay. Mm, about there. Okay. Then then no. That that that's that's something separate. Actually, that that would be sinus pain, but we haven't measured that from uh, we haven't measured that from the beginning. Yeah. Uh, so so um, so we don't have something for that. But so jaw is something separate. Hmm. But it's 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 more really below my eyes at the at the yeah right about here. I would I would locate it. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not so it's not so intense. No. That's maybe. Two, three. Yeah, and, and and what about the jaw? Is that zero then? Jaw, mm, I don't, I don't feel that very often. When I feel it, it's really just, really just a little bit, maybe for a second or so. So that's one. It doesn't yeah. bother me. And then um, pain in the chest. Just zero. Mm -hmm. And pain in the neck. Like mm, that kicks in. Sometimes that kicks in just last two days that was really bad but it's not it's not chronic at all so five mm -hmm. four, four four and then we have pain between the shoulder blades mm, four as well it's yeah. not chronic but it sometimes it kicks in and it's unpleasant mm -hmm. and then we have pain in the middle of the back oh, Zero. That either it's either total bottom of my back or or the upper part between yeah. the shoulder blades. Yeah. And n now the next one is the the lower back. Lower back. Two. And then we have uh, top of the shoulder pain. It's not chronic, but sometimes it kicks in for... Yeah. And then on, on the side of the shoulder? Uh, zero. Mm -hmm. And in the upper arm? Mm, I did... That's the first time I... That's the first time I got it recently that I was really overworking my right hand, so I was... It wasn't that annoying too. Mm -hmm. And in the lower arm? Mm. One. Mm -hmm. And in the wrist? One. Mm -hmm. I've had that for, I've had that for some time after we measured the symptoms. It started happening to me because I was, I'm really, you know, Going strong on the back knobber, mm -hmm. and it was it was uh, quite bad for like a week or two weeks, and I, then I think I got stronger, and some of the trapezius got sorted out, mm -hmm. so that uh, pushed it back a little bit back. That mm -hmm. it's not it's not okay. a problem. Okay, anymore. good. And then uh, pain in the eyes. Mm. Eight. Yeah. And then pain in the throat. 
zero. Yes. And then I have feeling disturbances, disturbances in the arms and fingers. Zero, zero. Yeah. And then we have tinnitus. Mm, three. Mm -hmm. And then we have se sensitivity to sound. That has dropped quite a lot. It's yeah. not gone yet, but it's not it's not driving me crazy anymore. That's three or four four because mm -hmm. it's it's so it's such a normal thing to not be to not be driven crazy by yeah. sound that yeah. it is annoying when you, when even even a little bit is still really annoying for me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then sensitivity to to light. I haven't noticed no. zero. I think. And then trouble swallowing. Zero. Yes. And uh, watery eyes. Doesn't bother me, but sometimes it happens. One. Mm -hmm. And hay fever symptoms. Nausea. Two. Mm -hmm. And dizziness and balance disturbances. Zero. Mm -hmm. And irritation in the eyes. Two. Mm -hmm. And dro droopy eyelids. Mm -hmm. That says that always comes is happening for a week and then it goes away for another week or fourteen days and then it goes back again. Mm. Mm, two. Yeah. It's not. It's not that often it would happen, but it annoys me very much when I'm trying mm -hmm. to do something. Mm -hmm. And then irritation in the nose. Zero. Yeah. And trouble turning the head. Mm, that just happened to me. I think some of the levatives got a trigger point that this hurts a little bit. That happens maybe once a month. So that's four. Mm -hmm. And visual disturbances. Zero. Yeah. And a sensation of living in jelly or a dream. Mm. I know at the beginning I, I, w I had a little more pain and I wasn't and I wasn't really or uh, sorry at the total beginning when I was just massaging the sterno before that that was really I really felt that, but now it's, I think maybe a little bit, but not nearly, not nearly as much. One. Mm -hmm. All right, and then we have inability to concentrate. Mm -hmm. Seven. Yes. And inability to sleep. Zero. Yes. And stress, feeling stressed. I'm stressed by the I'm stressed by the pain, not not really by my circumstance. Mm, I was stressed by the circumstances the last week or fourteen days, but other than that, judging just on just on empty head that Three, four, four, because mm -hmm. of the pain, it's, it's just. And then tiredness and, and a lack of energy. Mm -hmm. That still is there. And it's not pain, so it's not, it's not that bothering. But 
Five. Yeah. All right. That was it. Do you want to to know your scores or how it's how it's going? Like, or do you? Would you? Yeah, that would be that would, that would be nice actually yeah, okay. if you could tell me. Okay. If right. it has gone up or yeah, well, it has gone down. So when you started, it was it was ninety four uh, yes. total, and now it's seventy six. Um, so, but I think I think uh, maybe some of uh, actually you, there were were a f quite a few uh, symptoms that you scored zero last time, that you gave us a, a one or a two this time. Um, but that's that's actually normal because if you have a lot of headache, for example. You don't even pay attention to something like the shoulder one. pain or exactly, whatever. exactly. And then mm. when you, those symptoms start to drop, yeah. then all other ones that you have had all the time actually can start to appear. Um, yeah. Yeah. So this, I mean, it's fine. Uh, it's fine. I think you probably just need to do uh, also now. If you is, was it your final exam? Yeah, it was. Okay. So that's that's going to be good for you uh, the next couple of months uh, if you can stick to the program and uh, and stress de-stress. Did yeah. you manage to um, did you manage to 